Hey everyone, okay the first thing we're going to do is just apply some moisturizer to the skin and I'm using a Cosette foundation brush and this contouring and highlighting video is slightly different from the previous ones in that the application is much easier to grasp, there's no drawing lots of lines all over the face so it's not quite as scary for kind of newer people. Starting with a foundation, and this one's by Avon, it's Ideal Flawless Invisible Coverage Foundation, which is excellent, and you will see a review on this because it actually looks like skin. It's very, very good indeed. Using a beauty blender sponge to just blend everything out. And I'm applying this all over the face. This will be our starting point. I'm just gonna contour the nose slightly with a cream foundation, and I'm using a Makeup Forever brush to just go down the sides of the nose. And this is NW45 I'm using by MAC, which is the full coverage foundation. Then I'm taking a small stippling brush and I'm just blending this in. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is highlight. And we're going to highlight all the areas of the face that we want to stand out. So we're going to start under the eyes and then bring it down to the size of the nose. And if you click on the link in the description bar, it'll take you to the full tutorial on how to do this kind of Kim Kardashian look. Now we're going to go around the nose, on the chin, the forehead and um, down the bridge of the nose. Anything we lighten will visually come towards us. So these are the areas of the face that I want to stand out the most. And you can see that this foundation shade is way too light for the skin tone, but when it's blended in, it'll look beautiful. Using the Beauty Blender sponge, I'm going to blend this in all over these areas. And you can see I'm staying within the guidelines of where I put this color because we don't want to blend it out so far that the entire face becomes light. So just blend it until it molds into the skin. And even though I'm using a lot of concealer or foundation, which is lighter here, you'll still find that when the end result, which is pretty dramatic, it doesn't look caked on. It's really in the case of the application and the blending of it, which kind of makes this work well. Once you've finished with the blending, you're then gonna to wanna to set the foundation. Now we're gonna set it with powder and a puff because this is the preferred method because we know that it will stay all day long here. So I'm starting from the outside part of the face where the foundation was put and I'm using a colored powder by Makeup Forever, which is super matte loose. And I'm applying this to the areas of the face that are slightly darker in a pressing and rolling motion because it really will seal the foundation in and just make sure that it lasts all day long. No creasing and no nastiness. Before we start to set the areas of the face where we've highlighted, I'm going to go back over them with a sponge to just make sure any creasing on that area of the face is completely eliminated. Then with a smaller puff, you can also use a sponge or a triangle wedge, I'm applying very light powder to the areas on the face that were highlighted. I'm going to let this sit on the face and just look shocking. Looks like Mandy here has been doing very bad things with white powder. I'm now going to fill in the eyebrows and as you can see I'm going across the eyebrow and I'm barely creating any form of arch. If you've got a hooded eye, particularly one that's been acquired through age, if you over arch the eyebrow, you are drawing more attention to the hood. So small arch, but nothing too extreme. And you can see the difference that the eyebrows make here. It makes a massive difference. Now we're going to knock off that powder. And you'll notice that these areas of the face that we highlighted are slightly lighter than the rest of the face. And it just gives a very kind of youthful look to the face, I think is the word I want to use. Okay, so I'm now taking a bronzer and I'm just gonna lightly bronze around the sort of perimeter of the face. I'm starting at the jawline, I'm gonna bring it down slightly onto the neck, I'm gonna bring it onto the temples, slightly under the cheekbones. I'm using a baked bronzer by MAC, which is the uh, MAC Skin Finish Natural. And this is just to warm up the face and enhance the kind of angles and planes of the face. And I really like the MAC baked products. I think they're really, really lovely. And they're just sheer and they have a really nice sort of glow to them without being overly shiny. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a highlighter, which is by MAC and I'm uh, by NARS, I'm sorry, 
just to the kind of highlighted areas, but particularly along the cheekbones. And now a little bit of blush on top of this to kind of blend and pull everything in. We're not talking about lots of makeup here in terms of eyeshadow. This really is more about contouring and highlighting, but I just want to add a little bit of color to the face. Now I'm taking an all over kind of blending brush and I'm just going to blend in any harsh lines so that the whole thing, the blush, the highlighter, the bronzer all meet each other more kindly. I'm going to apply some lip balm to the lips and we're now going to contour the lips, which you'll see. I'm going to start with a pencil and I'm going to fill in the outside of the lips with the pencil. And this one is only a sort of shade or two away from Mandy's own lip color. Now, once I've done this, what I'm going to do is fill in the outer edges of the lips with this pencil. And what this will do is give the illusion of a fuller lip in the center of the lips. So start from the kind of outside and sort of take it about a third of the way in on all four corners of the lip. That's all you want to do. And for this look, we're just going to put a little bit of lip gloss over it, which you will see right at the end. But the emphasis will definitely be on the center of the lips. It just makes them look full up, which is always more youthful. Okay, see? I'm going to put a tiny bit now of concealer on the middle of the lip, just to further emphasize it. I'm now going to apply some mascara. I love, love, love the Givenchy Phenomenal Ice Mascara. It's excellent. Okay, let's start to complete this look and you'll also see a before and after. Going to use Sandpiper by NARS and apply this to the center of the lip and then feather it in so the whole thing marries up and becomes one. And that will complete the look and you'll see a before and after now. And you can really see, I think, how dramatic this is. But at the same time, it doesn't scream contouring and highlighting. So thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.